teacher. I was a teacher in um, New York City high schools, and also I taught for 42 years at City, taught at City College. And City College is a school of immigrants. And part of my work was, all, was to introduce literature of Dominicans, of Latinos, Latinas, and um, all sorts of uh, immigrant groups to my students. And that's always been my focus. If I'm in two countries, and, and look at what is happening, and he's talking about building a wall. I, I, and I saw, <clears throat> saw a picture, one of the many pictures in the New York Times of a pos possible wall, and it looked so ominous and horrible for me, and I couldn't possibly think of, of anything else to, to respond to except to say, my God, this, this is insane. Look at this. This is, and I made basically what looks like a wall of blood, you know, mm -hmm. or the fact that, that, um, my, the first piece, which would, which I did right after the elections and goes from sort of the, the, the normal path that's, that's happening around the election and then Trump wins and everything is black and fuzzy and electric-like on my piece, and I put in, and now what? If I were looking at the pieces, I would want to know that. That's the connection to, to immigrants for me. Mm -hmm. and, and the last piece is a response to, interestingly enough, in terms of the, if you'll call it the artistic technology, that piece was... There was a call by artists in Noma <clears throat> and two artists in Noma about, oh, anybody who's lived in the neighborhood a long time. Well, I've lived in that neighborhood almost 80 years in this house, in this building. So I have deep roots in, in my community and, have, and can observe, as my parents were here, this is the place where I grew up and my parents were here and they were immigrants. And what changes? So my piece, that piece, when we came here, there were women who had come from the concentration camps. And when you went to the store, they they served you, and you got to see, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you got to see their arm with the concentration camp numbers. When we came here, there were lots of blue skies, six-story buildings. And much later, they built the bridge apartments. Why? Because Robert Moses decided that he wanted to make a highway between <clears throat> between the, the parts of the Bronx that were poor parts. And and this this is the arrogance against <laughs> immigrants constantly. And the other thing is, then the Dominicans, as part of an immigrant group, come and the second arm in the first arm has the concentration camp number and a bagel and lox for the Jewish immigrants. The second arm has tostones on a plate. 